welcome to Honeybee Tales. I wanted to show you what I'm going to be reading today. It's called Choose Your Own Journey. It's basically about choosing your own journey of what vehicle you want to use. So I wanna know what's your journey this year? What are you planning on doing this year um, for your year, um, your journey? So what's great about this book is it's called Choose Your Own Journey. And it's written by Susie Brooks and illustrated by Tracy Cottingham. And what's great about it is that you decide which vehicle you are going to take. And so normally you would only read one particular track at a time, but so that you can see the full book in its entirety, we're gonna be on all vehicles all at the same time because we just live dangerously, you know. So come on everyone, let's go. Choose the boat the train, the car, or the bike, and follow each adventure with your finger. And so we're going to read each one just to see where the journey would take us. And then when, if you wanted to read this again with your children, then you could pick another vehicle and ride again. So the train, some sleepy people are still in their beds, but we're all on the move. You can see that the boat's just traveling along. The train clickety clacks along its tracks while the boat swooshes forward with a boom with, from its horn. Then you have the car right here. Broom goes the car as it passes the park. Can it catch up with the whirly wheeled bike? I don't think so. Or I guess it can because it'll go faster. A river wiggles through the land, but there are bridges to help the vehicles cross it. Try not to wobble, bike rider. Boats are made for water, but bikes are not. And you can see all of there. Can you imagine riding on that, like the Buckman Bridge? Can you imagine riding a bike over that? No. If you live in Jacksonville, you know what I'm talking about, because the Buckman Bridge is a super long bridge. The path begins to slope uphill. Bike rider, you'll need some extra puff. The car overtakes and cruises ahead. Be careful steering around the bends. Cutting through a tunnel saves the train a climb. Switch on the headlights, car driver. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. And you can see they even have some people who are kayaking down here. Someone's um, cleaning their feet off and somebody's over here fishing. So that's such a cool thing. You can even see there's a little cut out here for the tunnel. And then, you know me, I love some flaps and some pop-ups. Whee! Cycling downhill is fun, but don't forget your brakes. <laughs> so um, I feel like I love how much uh, sound effects this book has because that it like makes um, kids and adults like me giggle. <laughs> The tractor trundles really slowly through the farm. Bad luck, car. Will the boat overtake? So they're all kind of racing each other. I also like how it uses a bigger word such as trundles because that's a good learning point for you to discuss what that word means. So right here we have another cutout. On the way to the beach, the sun is shining bright. It's cool inside the car, but the bike rider is ready for some ice cream. Oh, I'd love to get some. Has anybody, does anybody have ice cream trucks go through their neighborhoods anymore? We had one a couple months back and I haven't heard the whole time we've lived here. And I would love to get some ice cream. So if you know somebody, send them to my neighborhood. The captain of the boat drops anchor at the jetty. Boat travelers, your journey is over. Say bye, Mr. Boats or Mrs. Boat. Can you hear tumble, tummies rumbling in the car? It must be time for lunch. Mommy. The car needs fuel and so do the passengers. So I love how if you were tracing this, you have all of this road or maybe the bike ones. So that's why if you're really reading one particular track, you can have fun with your kids and tracing it. I'm jealous, April. She's watching while eating ice cream. It's the best. What's the hold up here? Every driver dreads a traffic jam. Oh man, this is like downtown Jacksonville. Look at that. Oh my goodness, or LA. Oh, 
Anybody ever driven in LA? I've always wondered what it would be like to sit in traffic for five hours or something. Listen to the honking corn, horns, horns as cars, vans, and trucks stop. Beep, beep. Good news for the train and the bike. Your routes are clear. Whew, thankfully. At last, the car can move again, but the train is pulling into a station. The signal goes red and the brakes go on. Time to get off, train travelers. Bike rider, put your coat on quickly or you'll get wet. So as you can see, it travels through each one to see what their journey is like. At the digging site, diggers and dumpers are digging and dumping and churning the ground to mud. Splash goes the car and splash goes the bike. Yeah. And that pretty little rainbow right here. All these construction workers. Anybody ever love to ride through puddles after it rains? Thankfully, they have some boots on right here. Don't want to get, you know, ringworms or whatever. <laughs> Um, so as you can see, they're traveling through. They're even getting their car washed here. This is such a beautiful little town. Car driver, shut the windows before you enter the car wash and jets of water swoosh and swish. The car comes out sparkling. You'll need a bath later, bike rider. Yeah, she's pretty dirty. Tummies are rumbling in the car again. It's time to stop for... Pizza! And look at all those different places. Isn't this such a cute little town? Bike rider, where are you off to? I mean, look how cute that town is. Oh, Ooh, they're going to the show. Look at that. That is so cool. It's so right here. Check your mirrors before you back in. That's it. Your car journey is over. So all these cars are parked and they're going to see a movie. I wonder what movie they're gonna see. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I really enjoy, oh man, this page is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't help but love the illustrations in children's books. Like it's just, you get such an affinity for the beauty that these illustrators really put into their work. The carnival is full of fast and exciting rides. Watch the Ferris wheel whirl and the ghost train woo. There goes a unicycle. Imagine balancing with just one wheel. Oh, I can imagine it. I'd fall flat on my face, that is for sure. Love me some bumper cars. This carnival actually looks pretty fun. I would totally go to this one. It's the end of the day and you're almost home. Bike rider, you must be feeling tired after all that pedaling. Time for a bath and a good night's sleep. Oh, that is such. I really hope that you enjoyed this particular story as much as I did. And it's so much fun to read about the different journeys. They also actually have a choose your journey under the sea, which is really cute. So I chose this one for the first of the year because it's up to you to decide what your journey is. We all have different vehicles to get there. We all have different journeys and we all have different ways that we want to get to our destinations, but all of them are just as important.